Hello, wonderful people, it's Metacosis Perfectionatus. Welcome back to my physics playlist. In the last video, we had a great introduction to physics. Today, it's time for a very important topic, which is scalars versus vectors. Scalars do not have a direction, but vectors do have a direction. Put differently, a scalar has a magnitude only, but no direction. However, a vector has both a magnitude and a direction. For example, if I say that I drove for five meters, that's it. Oh, that's just a magnitude. It's a quantity. That's, that's it. There is no east, west, up or down. It's just five meters. So this is a scalar quantity known as a distance. But what if I told you that I drove five meters east? Oh, now we're talking. It's five meters, so that's the magnitude, and east is the direction. So this quantity has a magnitude and direction, making this a vector. When I say 5 meters and stop, that's a distance. But when I say 5 meters east, this is a displacement. As you might imagine, distance is a scalar because it has a magnitude but no direction. Displacement, however, has a magnitude and a direction. So displacement is a vector. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. This is my physics playlist. Try to watch these videos in order for maximum understanding and retention. Scalars have magnitude only, no direction, but vectors have both a magnitude and a direction. For example, a distance of 10 meter, oh, that's just a scalar quantity because it has a magnitude only. But when I say 10 meters east, that's displacement, which is a vector because it has a magnitude and a direction. Now bring a piece of paper and let's draw this. Scalar is here and vector is there. Now let's practice. How about distance? Do you think distance is a scalar or a vector? Example, distance of 10 meters, period. Oh, just a magnitude, no direction, so distance is a scalar quantity. But how about displacement? So, for example, 10 meters east. So when I say 10 meters east, it has a magnitude, it has a direction, so this is a vector. Next, speed. What is speed? Speed is the change in distance over time. If I'm driving my car with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour, did I say east, west, up or down? No. It has a magnitude only and no direction, so speed is a scalar quantity. Do you want a little trick? Speed equals distance over time. Distance is scalar. And time is scalar. Time cannot have a direction. There is no such thing as 5 minutes east. So when you have scalar divided by a scalar, you end up with a scalar. So speed is a scalar. Next, how about velocity? I'm driving my car with a velocity of 15 kilometers east. Oh, now this one has a direction. So velocity is a vector. What is velocity? It is change in displacement over change in time. Okay, you want a nice trick? Displacement is a vector. Time is a scalar. Vector divided by a scalar gives you a vector. So velocity is a vector. If you want a mnemonic, the V goes with the V. Velocity is vector. Okay, let's try time. Time, is there such a thing as 10 seconds east or west? No, time is scalar. Let's try temperature. The temperature of boiling of water is 100 degrees Celsius. That's it, Celsius. No up or down, right or left, east or west. So temperature is scalar. Let's do some more. Scalar is here and vector is there. Scalar, magnitude only. Vector, magnitude and direction. Let's start volume. Okay, the volume of this bottle is one liter. What do you think? Oh, it's just one liter, not one liter east. So volume is a scalar quantity. Let's try pressure. The pressure in your big arteries during systole of the heart is about 120 millimeters of mercury. Okay, just millimeters of mercury, not up, down, east, or west. So pressure is a scalar entity. Let's try area. What if I told you that the surface area of a square is 5 square meters? Okay, no east, west. Okay, scalar. How about force, like the force of gravity? Oh, gravity is trying to pull me down. Down is a direction, so force is a vector. Next, mass. Let's say that the mass of my book is one kilogram. I know, I own very heavy books. Okay, just one kilogram, no directions here, so mass is scalar. But what if I told you that your weight on the surface of the moon 
is less than the weight on the surface of the Earth because weight depends on gravity. Now what? Well, if it depends on gravity and gravitational force has a direction, then weight has a direction. Weight is a vector. Let's try energy. Let's say that the energy consumed by a certain metabolic pathway is 10 joules. Okay, no directions. It's just an amount, just a magnitude with no direction. So energy is scalar. Next, how about work? What if I told you that work equals force times displacement? Now, take a guess. Do you think work will be scalar or vector? Well, force has a direction. Force is a vector. Displacement is a vector. Vector times vector can give you a scalar. Work is a scalar. Here is a mnemonic to remember it. Energy is the ability to do work. Both energy and work are scalar entities. But how about torque? Torque is also the result of multiplying two vectors together, force and lever arm. But you gotta be very careful. Just because it's the multiplication of two vectors doesn't necessarily make it scalar. In fact, torque is a vector because torque has a direction. So you really have to think about it. You cannot rely on shorthands. Work is scalar, torque is vector. Energy is the ability to do work, so it is scalar just like work. Let's do some more. Scalar is here and vector is there. Let's try momentum. What is momentum? Momentum is the product of mass times velocity. Mass is scalar, but velocity is a vector because velocity has a direction. Scalar times vector is a vector. So momentum is a vector. It has a direction and a magnitude. So momentum equals mass times velocity because momentum in Latin is pallor. So there you have it, scalars versus vectors. Scalars, magnitude only. Vectors, magnitude and direction. Scalars, no direction. Vectors do have a direction. Examples of scalars, distance, like 5 meters. But displacement, 5 meters east, is a vector. Speed, I'm driving my car 10 kilometers per hour. That's it, so it's scalar. Mnemonic, speed is scalar, but velocity is a vector. Velocity has a magnitude and direction, like driving my car 15 kilometers per hour east. Pressure, just like blood pressure, does not have a direction, so it is scalar. Mass, scalar. But weight depends on gravity, so weight has a direction. Downwards, which means it's a vector. Energy is the ability to do work. Both energy and work are scalar. But torque is a vector. Torque, momentum, both are vectors. Force, like gravitational force, has a direction. Acceleration, why is acceleration a vector? Because it has a direction. What do you mean? It could have a positive direction or a negative direction. Because you can accelerate or decelerate. If you're accelerating, you'll have a positive sign. But if you're decelerating, you'll have a negative sign. If I'm starting to drive my car, it is parked right now and I will start to drive forwards. I will accelerate, accelerate, accelerate until I reach the stable desired speed. And then when I'm trying to stop, I will decelerate, decelerate, decelerate until I come to a complete stop. So acceleration has a direction, which means it's a vector. How about electric field strength? It has a direction, so it is a vector. How about magnetic field? Just like electric field, it is also a vector. Both magnetic field and electric field are vector fields, which mean we have different directions like this. Like the experiment of exposing iron fillings to a magnet. This is your number line. And this is a question for you. Adam walked from 0 to 2, positive 2 that is, then from positive 2 to positive 4. What is the distance and what is the displacement? Look, even if they did not give you a number line, you should draw your own number line. It makes it so much easier. Now pause the video and try to answer these two questions yourself. All right, let's do it. First, distance is a scalar, but displacement is a vector, which means when it comes to distance, just worry about the magnitude and not the direction. Okay, let's start from zero to two. Okay, this is a quantity or a magnitude of just two. Okay, look, so I have two right now. What else? Then from positive two, positive four. Okay, that's another two because four minus two is two. So two plus two, 
will give me a distance of 4 meters. So when it comes to distance, distance equals d1 plus d2 plus d3. If you have any, you just add all of the distances together. You should only care about the magnitude, not the direction. Here is a magnitude of 2. Here is a magnitude of 2. So we have a total magnitude of 4. And that's the answer for the distance. Next, let's try displacement. Displacement cares about the direction. I started from 0 to 2. Okay, and then what? From 2 to 4. To find the displacement, you need the final minus the initial point. Okay, what is the final point? The final point is 4. Amazing. And what's the initial point? 0. 4 minus 0 is also 4 meters. Am I done? No, it is 4 meters to the right. Or you can simply write down positive 4 because positive implies that I'm walking east and not west. Positive will be east, negative will be west. Let's try this one. Adam walked from negative 3 to 2 and then from 2 to negative 1. What's the distance and what's the displacement? Please pause and try to answer this yourself. Okay, distance, forget about the direction. Let's worry about the magnitude. From negative 3 to 2, how much is that? Here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters. So this is my D1, okay? Where is D2? Then he walked from 2 to negative 1. From 2 to negative 1, how much is that? Here is 1, 2, and 3. So 5 plus 3 equals 8 meters and that's the answer for distance. Distance is a scalar so it does not care about the direction, only the magnitude. 5 and 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. Now displacement is different. Displacement is the final point minus the initial point. Okay? What's the final point please? Negative 1. And what is the initial point? Negative 3. Now be careful. Minus and then the negative 3 like this. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is negative 1 plus 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So Adam was displaced 2 meters in total in the positive direction, meaning eastwards. Think about it. Adam started here and then walked and then walked, but ended up here. From negative 3 to negative 1, here is 1 east and another 1 east, making the total 2 east, or 2 towards the right, or just positive 2. Displacement has to have a direction. How about this question? Adam walked 3 kilometers east, then 4 kilometers north. Please find the distance and the displacement. You'll find the answer key to this question in the next video, where we'll learn about how to split a vector into its two components. We'll learn about addition, subtraction, and multiplication of vectors. We will also review some trigonometry functions in the next video. Please take a moment to pause and review. If you want a nice mnemonic, look at speed with the S is scalar and mass, double S, scalar. But velocity with the V is vector. At the end of each video, I'll give you some equations to memorize. Speed equals distance over time, but velocity equals displacement over time. Scalar vector. Scalar vector. How about acceleration? Acceleration is the change in velocity over change in time. Vector scalar will give me a vector. Next, work. Work equals force, which is a vector, times displacement, which is a vector, and work is a scalar. But torque is force multiplied by the lever arm or the position vector. Vector, vector, vector. Vector, vector, scalar. You can download my physics notes, my general chemistry notes, my biochemistry notes, organic chemistry notes, biology notes, all kinds of notes on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. If you want to learn about kidney physiology, I have a course on this. It will teach you about GFR, proximal tubule, loop of Henle, distal tubule, and more. You can download it at medicosisperfectionalis.com. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionandus, where medicine makes perfect sense.